Hey, BJ Peters here, and I can't wait to share with you something really fun that I made with the new catalog stuff that I got the other day. I used the Lemon Zest Bundle, and look at what I made. There's a couple techniques with this that I can't wait to share with Hard you. Hard again. Look at, I love this. Life short, live it with zest. Yes, that is what we should be doing, right? So here is the Lemon Zest Bundle. Here's the stamp set. Kind of fun. And like I said, it does come with as a bundle. So the bundle piece is this um, punch. And I'm struggling to try and get it without the, the light shining on it. Sorry. There we go. That's probably the best I can do. Anyway, yes, 10% off when you buy it as a bundle. So for this card, what I'm going to start with is a piece of Whisper White that is 3 and 7 eighths by 5 and an eighth. And we're going to just do this watercolor wash background. So I've got my Lemon Lime Twist stamp pad here, and I'm going to just use the cover, and I'm going to drop in a little bit of reinker here, just a, oh, three drops, I guess, today, and my trusty aqua painter. And I'm just going to add a little water and kind of thin that out just a little bit. It helps to, you know, have something nice and thin and blended as I'm going to create this background here. So I just, it's really just kind of like scribbling just create a, a, a background to um, highlight your image. And it's um, okay if it's not a consistent color. In fact, that is really kind of what you want. We'll just do a little bit more there. And I think that's good. Doesn't take much. Just clean your aqua painter off and you're ready to go again. So let's set that off to the side to dry. And then I've got just a piece of Whisper White that we're going to use to create our lemons with. And the two yellow colors I have are Crushed Curry and Daffodil Delight. So we're going to do a little bit of rock and roll today. And if you look at the punch, the smaller um, um, piece is here on the bottom. The wider end is at the top. So that's kind of how I want to stamp it on my paper so that I can easily then punch it out. So I'm inking up in the lighter color, which is the Daffodil Delight, and then I'm just going to do a little rock and roll here on the Crush Curry stamp pad. So then I get this blended color that just adds a little interest and fun. We need two of them, so let me do it again. And there we go. You see that just around the edges? It's just just adds interest, fun, and it's so easy to do. So there's your first technique, a little rock and roll. And then we're just going to punch this out. And we'll punch the other one out. There we go. So there's our lemons. We're going to make a little zest today. All right, let's stamp our greetings. And life short. Oops. I'm using basic gray for that. And now let's grab a couple of leaves here. So I'm just going to use the punch again with some lemon lime twist cardstock. And I need three leaves. And there they are. All right, so let's get them attached. I'm just going to use a glue dot here to attach them. I'm loving the new catalogs. The other day I had um, my card buffet in here and oh my gosh the ladies were so excited they loved all the cards and they were they had so many awesome comments about the new catalog that um, they were just kind of giggly and fun and it was so it's actually really fun for me to hear all of their fun comments and how excited they were so as you can see I'm adding some dimensionals to my um, lemons there and now let's just put them on our card Notice when I added the dimensional, I kind of put it off the edge right here so it caught both the leaf and the, the back of the lemon. I just feel like it gives, gives it a little bit more stability. So there's the, our card front ready to go, and we'll just layer it up here. So I'm going to layer it on um, a 4 inch by 5 and a fourth inch piece of lemon lime twist. 
I had to work hard to not say lemon lime zest, <laughs> you know, kind of combining the stamp set and the paper. So here we go. Look at that on a Daffodil Delight card base. And there is our card. I'll check out this other card that I made as well. This one uses the, uh, I think it's called layering petals. And it's one of those dynamic um, textured embossing folders. So the thicker ones. But this is fun. And look at, can you see that I added the Clear Wink of Stella here? Super fun card. So check that out and think about your watercolor wash background and the rock and roll technique. Thanks for stopping by today. Remember, you can purchase these products online in my store at stampinbj.com. I always appreciate your business. And remember to create and feel great.